gluteus muscle, or glute knee for short. Where is this muscle in the first place? So it's a muscle on the side of your hip. Um, it kind of goes from the top of your pelvis to the side here, and it's kind of where your back pocket would be. Um, and so it works to um, what we'll call abduct the leg, which is move the leg out. But the reason it's really important is its prime function is to stabilize the pelvis when you're standing on one leg. So kind of in this motion here. So if you don't have a strong glute muscle, glute knee muscle, um, what it would look like is when you're standing on one leg, your pelvis would drop. So um, the glute knee muscle is really important to train to prevent running injuries. Um, common running injuries we see from kind of having a weak glute knee where your pelvis drops a lot is um, knee issues such as patellofemoral pain syndrome, um, which is kind of pain in around your kneecap, or IT man friction syndrome, which is pain on the outside of your knee. Um, other issues that can arise are um, low back pain or SI joint pain, or even all the way down into your feet, like problems with your Achilles or plantar fascia. So this one little muscle in here is actually really important to have prevent a lot of common running injuries. So we're going to go into what exercises we can do to help uh, strengthen your glute knee muscle. So we'll start with kind of more beginner ones where you can just learn how to fire it properly and then transfer over to kind of more functional training ones um, more specific to running. So um, we have Julie here and we're going to um, do a little assessment first just to see um, how her glute knees are firing. So, I'm just going to put my hands on her pelvis, and I'm going to get you to stand on your right leg and bring your left knee up. And so, we can see here how her left hip is just dropping down. She's not able to maintain um, the level of pelvis. So, bring your legs back down, and then we'll check on the other side. Perfect. And you can kind of see the difference between side to side. So, we'll go back on the right side. Uh, the stability and then back over on your left side. Perfect. So this is just a quick test that you can check yourself in the mirror to see whether or not you have any problems with your glute knee, if there's um, any weakness side to side. So we see that Julie has a weak right glute knee and so we're going to work on strengthening it. So this is a, a really beginner exercise. It's called a clamshell and um, what it does is it's a great way just to kind of find where your glute knee muscle is and so, um, Julie's going to demonstrate for us. We start off lying on your side, and you want to have your feet lined up with your hips and kind of a nice neutral spine in the back here. And so, Julie's going to try to keep her pelvis level, and she's going to bring her top knee up and then back down. Perfect. We'll just do a few of those. And Julie, where are you doing the work? Right here. Perfect. Where you actually feel um, the muscles. So thinking about that back pocket, that's where you should be feeling these exercises. Good. So we'll move on now to um, just practicing the running motion but lying down, so non-weight bearing. So Julie, what I want you to do is lift up your leg and try to keep your foot, your knee, and your hip all in one line as you're bringing your
next level. You're going to bring your knee up as though you were running. And then back down. So, common ways that people can go wrong or cheat, um, going back to the step down exercise, is when you're lowering your leg down, many times either your pelvis um, drops or your knee falls in. Yes, <laughs> that's that again. And then going to the running motion exercise, it's opposite. Um, people are bringing their opposite hip up because they are trying to prevent it from dropping. So you keep it up and hike out this hip here. So yeah, it's really important to keep your pelvis level um, that you're going to see over um, your toes that you're not falling in or anything like that. So these are just some of the uh, more uh, common exercises that I like to prescribe for my clients who have issues with their glute knees. Um, I would really recommend to strengthen your glute knee if you do a lot of running or hiking, especially tail running too, um, where you have to be doing a lot of balancing and standing on one leg, just to prevent common injuries um, in your knee or your feet and your back. So these are just some ideas, there's different ways of strengthening it, but um, you can work on um, doing, incorporating that into your home strength program. Um, so these are just some of the uh, more uh, common exercises that I like to prescribe for my clients who have issues with their glute knees. Um, I would really recommend um, just being able to strengthen your glute knee if you do a lot of running or hiking, especially trail running too, um, where you have to be doing a lot of balancing and standing on one leg, just to prevent common injuries um, in your knees or your feet and your back. So, these are just some ideas, there's different ways of strengthening it, but um, you can work on um, doing, incorporating that into your own home strengthening program.